Well, the idea is to do another bit of a video diary of a trip that we did down around Lake Dunstan and uh, we'd stayed with Warwick, that's Warwick up ahead on the bike, biked around to Cromwell via Pisa Moorings and it's a, quite a pretty trip around through there, especially around Pisa Moorings, it's actually quite a nice place to, to live. Well, in the summer it is anyway, but um, I don't know so much about the winter. But most of the trip was around the shores of Lake Dunstan, and it's it's a pretty ride. It's quite a good surface to ride on, and um, there are bits that are a little bit more exciting than other bits, but nonetheless, we enjoyed it thoroughly. I'm following along behind Katrina, obviously, at this stage, and the main highway is just over on the right. So we've got uh, the lake on the left, the road on the right, we're coming up to a, a camping area, which is um, a place that we've stayed quite a, a little bit. It's very, very pretty, and motor caravan and motor home people are quite well served around this area by the number of places that there are to stop. Just over on the right is a favourite spot, Lowburn, and again the, um, there's a little inlet off the lake that serves that and some pretty impressive houses uh, up there too. Yes, well you can see some of the camper vans on the, the left. That was the first area, it's free camping, although there are NZMCA parks as well. It's interesting that you've got the choice of free camping, NZMCA parks, of which there are, are two. Neither are as good as this area. And um, further on, there was, um, because it was hot at this time of the year, there was a water park that was very well attended. In the past, we have actually camped down there. Further on, uh, coming up to Rosary Glen, actually, which is one of the NZMCA parks, we stopped and decided we'd have a bit of a look in at Rosary Glen, ended up talking to a guy that was just coming out for quite some time and they'd enjoyed it they were I think from the North Island and they were doing the South Island tour around it's not the most exciting place but if you had your bikes and you were out and about all day I suppose it doesn't matter too much it was quite interesting chatting with him before we headed on further around and I'm glad we didn't have to go up the hill so a little bit of road and then we were back on the track again from memory. It's uh, an easy bit of road and it was only about half a kilometre from memory along there before we headed off around the lake shore once again on again fairly good surface and a very easy ride. If you had an electric bike like Warwick did um, you'd go on and uh, we did discuss the possibility of heading on to Dunstan but as the track got a little bit hairier and we didn't have electric bikes at this stage we decided not to but round the back of Wanaka, of, not Wanaka, round the back of Cromwell there were properties that we hadn't seen before or the um, back side of them and they've got the lovely lake view as well Again, as I say, in summer, I believe it can be pretty foggy in the winter, which wouldn't be so much fun. But then if you're in a modern home and it's well heated, I suppose that doesn't matter quite so much. Lots of picnic areas around, lots of places to stop and uh, enjoy. I've cut this down heavily, of course. Um, I just left the camera going, but it... Um, was something that, uh, yeah, it's a bit, bit too much. This lasts about 10 minutes, I think, overall. So it's a shortened version of the ride. Lots of picnic areas where you can drive down in your car to um, the lake shore. And then once we got past that area, again, coming into part of uh, Cromwell, we're getting closer to the bridge where the main road goes across. You actually go under the bridge further around here. But uh, there are lots and lots of attractive housing and quite impressive housing in some areas. 
So we're getting closer to the, the main part of the town and into the old river near where the confluence of the Kaurau and the Clutha met. And uh, it's just a little bit further up here. I think there's quite a big park area. And we stopped for a few minutes just to find where Katrina had got to. She wasn't far behind. And a bit of a wait and a lovely picnic area which must be an asset for the people who live in Cromwell. And then she caught up and we were off again around towards the old part of the town, the part of the town that had been flooded uh, when they made the dam way back when. So this is the Kawara River, which Warwick explained to us had silted up, apparently, quite, quite badly. We're coming into the old part of the town. Now you can see on the right the remnants of some of the buildings that were moved. And um, it must have been quite a business. I'd love to be able to go back, but you can't do that. And some of the buildings on the left. There are a lot of old photographs in the, in the town where we had a cup of coffee that explain the history. And uh, some of the long-standing trees that have been there for a while are, are still recognisable. But not so much this part of the town, of course. The, the original road was down on the left, and uh, a lot of the original town was also down on the left, under what is now water. And the buildings that were higher up the hill have been kept and developed. The old precinct is a bit of historical interest. And, of course, there's a limit on where you can bike. So at this point, I think we we got off, basically, and uh, got ready for our walk. That pier, that uh, jetty there, used to be usable, but Warwick was explaining that because of the silting, it's not. And um, whether or not they'll dredge it or how much use dredging would be, I don't know. But anyway, park the bikes, have a cup of coffee, look at the some of the local history, and then off again around the town this time more on roads and we went into the town did a bit of um, e-bike looking and so on before we headed back out through some of the new subdivision areas and Cromwell like everywhere else seems to be expanding like crazy and uh, there's a bit of bit of height in the new town so we coasted our way back down to the river and uh, the lake, as it now is, and headed back pretty much along the same route. So past the water park and then eventually stopped back at the caravan at Warwick's place. So I'll stop talking and we'll play a bit of music or something. <laughs> 